Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be working in our basement and it's kind of dark and drab down there. So I thought I'd come up here where the light's nice and show you guys what I'll be doing. So what I have here is a Wagner paint sprayer. Now I've never used this kind. This is an electric sprayer. Um, you guys have seen me use my air sprayer probably hundreds of times and that's kind of all I've used over the years uh, simply because I had a good air source. My uh, dad had actually set that up for me uh, where I have a big you know compressor and a tank and I know if you don't you know, have that and you want to go buy an air sprayer you would of course need to invest in a pretty good air compressor which gets kind of pricey so i thought um, i'm going to do this electric sprayer review kind of here on my channel and i've always been tempted to try it like i said i've never done it before so if it goes really well maybe i'll switch who knows uh, but i have plans to paint our ceiling in the basement now if i say ceiling this is just still the rough uh, you know all the rafters are showing the pipes and the wire and everything so what I'm planning on doing is just paint everything white, um, including you know the wire and the pipe and everything. Um, I think that would really brighten it up down there. Uh, plus, I'm planning on moving my Etsy office or shop down there. Um, right now, I'm still kind of working out of the living room, some in the basement, and I keep running back and forth. And I think it would be so nice to just have everything on one level. So that's kind of my plan. Um, I did some cleaning already down there, but other than that, nothing has been done. Uh, so today is the day to start on that ceiling. So I'm going to zoom the camera in so you guys can see the unboxing here. This is not Wagner's most expensive spray painter, but it is also not the cheapest one. It's kind of the in-between. I spent around $130 for the sprayer. So this looks fairly simple. Um, you know, just your main you know, sprayer here and then two different uh, containers to put the paint in. And it kind of looks like this container here is called the eye spray nozzle. And this would kind of be your main um, you know, can to use. And the smaller one is called a detail finish nozzle. So I don't know, would it maybe spray a finer mist or I guess we'll find out. And they also have some liners here for the cups, which I imagine I would probably just use those for maybe an oil base finish. But since I will be using water-based paint today with an easy cleanup, I will probably just be using the, the eye spray can here. It does say on the chart here that to use the latex enamel paint, which that is what I'll be using, it, it is best to use the eye spray nozzle, but also good to use the detail finish nozzle. But I think it is quicker, the way it sounds, the large can or the eye spray is faster and for what I will be doing today you know nothing too detailed that's what I'll be using so it looks like these are easy to change here um, you know should I decide to paint two things at once with two different colors this would be really nice to have these two containers but it just basically locks in like this and then to switch, you just press this yellow plastic thing here and it just snaps right off. And attach the next one here. And I see they have a little cleaner brush inside here along with an extra nozzle part. So my plan is to test the sprayer first, probably try it out in kind of in the middle of the ceiling here and see how much overspray I get before I just start covering everything.
So the paint I'll be using today will be nothing too expensive. I thought for just a ceiling, I'm not going to use you know good paint. I'm not going to go buy paint if I don't have to. Um, I have this little closet back here in the corner. It's under the stairs. Um, nothing fancy here, guys, but this is where all my paint supplies or some of it. Um, I have some out in the shop too, but during the winter I have to move everything in, of course. But I remembered I have a gallon of, I think, color place paint here, which is definitely not a, you know, not an expensive paint. Um, it is white. I think this is what I'll be using. This is just paint from Walmart. I probably gave maybe 15 bucks for this gallon. Now it sounds like the paint does not need to be thinned for the sprayer, which is actually pretty amazing. I always need to thin my paint for my air sprayer. And of course you're able to apply a you know, thicker coat, less coats if you don't need to thin it. Okay guys, I'm pretty excited here. I already like how this one little spot of white is looking. Um, I think it'll just change the way this whole front room looks here in our basement. So what I want to do now before I proceed is adjust the sprayer to allow the most paint flow possible through this thing. And this knob on the top here is like the power. Um, it says the air power. So I definitely want that turned all the way up to max. And then there's a red knob thing in the middle here that is for the flow of the paint. Like the higher I set this, it looks like it goes all the way up to 12. And uh, the higher I set it, of course, the more paint will flow through. So I have that set at 12. And this front setting here is just to adjust the whether it's a wide spray or a narrow spray. Sometimes I like the narrow spray better because you can almost it seems like you're applying more paint to a surface if you have it on narrow. So I'm going to start out with that and I can always change that. I'm not sure it may be different than your air sprayer for that. And for this, I'm used to spraying with my sprayer like this. This will adjust if it's spray if you spray up and down or back and forth. So I'm going to give these settings a shot and if I don't like it, I'll try to readjust. Okay guys, so I will update you. Um, it is almost three o'clock. I started this job around nine o'clock and I am still not finished. In fact, I kind of have a long way to go here, as you can see. 
Um, it is really time consuming, but I am loving how it's looking. I know it'll look great once I'm finished. I'll be honest, this has been one of the most grueling jobs I've ever done physically. Um, the sprayer does not seem that heavy if you just hold it waist high, but hold it above your shoulders for hours at a time, and it is definitely back breaking but I think it's gonna be worth it. I definitely wanna to try to finish today. Um, I kinda of dedicated this day to doing this and I'm determined to finish it. So I will continue working on it. Um, you would not wanna see me right now. I am covered in white paint. Um, I'm wearing safety glasses cause it does kinda of get into my eyes and of course my little mask that I wear. Uh, but I will definitely have to take a long shower after I'm finished here. Uh, but I'm just loving the way it looks and that's what counts. Let's try the fine detailing sprayer. And guys, I gotta say, so far I'm really impressed with this sprayer. Um, when I did those rafters in the basement, um, it did such an amazing job. If it meets my standards on how I want a piece of furniture to look after it's sprayed, this will be the ultimate sprayer. I have two pieces of furniture here that I quickly wanna spray. And the first piece is a black stand, like an end table and I purchased it at a thrift store. Um, it's really glossy, so I, I thought it would truly put the sprayer to test to see if I can get a smooth surface on here, you know, by painting it. And the other piece is a cart that I got at a thrift store. I believe I paid $12 to $15 for it, and it is on wheels, which I really like that. Um, I thought I might end up using it in my new office space downstairs. Uh, because I liked how high it is to maybe work on it with, uh, you know, working decals and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll see how it turns out. Uh, the top is just a bit rough. I'm not sure. Um, I may end up putting another top on it, but I'm going to go ahead and paint it because I know I want, you know, the, the posts here and the, the bottom shelf. Um, it's probably going to be painted white again. I know I often paint my furniture white. So the paint I'll be using today is a combination of Do It Best brand satin sheen paint and just some leftover white paint from Walmart, color place that I had from the uh, rafters in the, the basement. And I won't have enough of if I use just one of either here, so I'm just going to mix them together. That's perfectly fine to do if they're both water-based paint. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. I know it said, you know, you don't need to do that with a an electric or this electric painter here. It said no need for thinning, but I guess out of habit, um, I do that, you know, when I have my air sprayer, I always did that. And in this case, I am kind of afraid I don't have enough paint here, so it'll help with stretching it out a little further. Just a tip here, if any of you decide to purchase a sprayer like this or are using one, I really like how the paint goes on with the paint being thinned, so I think I would always thin it a bit. Um, it just covers better and it's uh, quicker. So even though you know it's said in the instructions you don't need to, um, I think I always would probably add a little water.
I had just enough paint to finish the cart, so good thing I added the water. I must say I'm really impressed with the sprayer. Um, it does give a nice smooth finish. Um, I should have screened my paint. I noticed I had a few little flecks of dried paint flying out, which sometimes you get that if you scrape the bottom of the cans. So like I mentioned before, overall I was really impressed with the sprayer. Um, one unique feature that it has that I really like is um, inside of the cans, you can actually move the inside tube thing um, if you're painting in an upward position or an, a downward position. That way, you know, you get all of your paint. I thought that was really neat. So if you're looking for a paint sprayer and don't want to spend just a whole lot, um, I thought this one was a pretty good price and it works great. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm sure I'll be using more of it. And I will link it below. I got it from Amazon, again, around $130. And it is an affiliate link. It will not change your price, but I will get a small commission if you do end up purchasing one through my link. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.